So we finally got our last Gigabyte P55 unboxing. This is the P55 UD5. So this is their step down from the ultra premium UD6. So we're gonna have support for a lot of the high end features of the UD6, but it'll be cut down in a couple small ways. So it features 12 phase power compared to the 24 phase power on the UD6, but we still got a lot of high end stuff like SLI, Crossfire X, and obviously support for Gigabyte's ultra durable three technology. And Smart 6, which is uh, a variety of different ways of smartly managing your system, uh, which I finally looked up. Most of the time I don't run those sort of uh, bundled motherboard utilities anyway though. So Anyway, okay, let's get this board open. So here we go, accessory package. We have, again, quite a complete accessory package. So we've got four SATA ports, one I, uh, cables, one IDE cable. Then we've got a flexible SLI bridge. We've got your Smart 6 user guide, your Smart Trusted Platform module guide. We've got the regular motherboard user manual along with a uh, drivers and utilities DVD. Then we've got the multilingual installation guidebook, so that's your quick start guide. Then here we've got two eSATA ports and one uh, Molex port, uh, IO bracket adapter thingy. Then we've got two Molex to SATA power adapters and then two SATA to eSATA cables. So that allows you to take a couple of just regular Joe hard drives with no special enclosures and plug them directly off the back of your computer to use an eSATA mode. So then we've got our IO shield, Dolby home theater sticker, a gigabyte system sticker, and let's get down to the board. There's actually like a foam padding thing here. That's kind of neat. I guess it protects the, uh, protects the Northbridge heatsink. Okay, so let's get this baby open and have a look. So like I mentioned before, we've got a 12 phase power design on this board. 12 phases for the CPU itself, and then two phases for the uncore. So they're really, really serious about providing a lot of power phases to every component of your system here. All right, so let's have a look at the general layout of this board. It's actually quite similar to the UD6. So we've got our socket 1156 right where it belongs. Your 12 phase power is right here all around the CPU socket. Then you've got quite a robust cooling solution for the whole board. So from the, the Southbridge, Northbridge and MOSFET areas are all adequately cooled with kind of a funky, funky uh, design going on on the sides of all of them. That's kind of neat. So your power connectors are right where they belong with the 8 pin up at the top left and the 24 pin over on the right. And you've got dual channel DDR3 memory like all P55 boards. Now that's one feature again that is missing from the UD6 when you step down to the UD5 is you don't have those extra two uh, memory slots. Okay, so let's have a look at the PCIe layout. So this is a PCIe 16x slot, and this is a PCIe 16x physical, but 8x electrical. Now both of these can be run in 8x, 8x mode for SLI or Crossfire. This one down at the bottom is only a 4x slot, and it runs off the chipset, so you can't use it for SLI or Crossfire functionality. So we've got onboard clear CMOS, onboard uh, power and reset switches here, and then we've got our 10, 10 SATA 2 ports on the back and now let's just have a look at the back I.O. So here we go, we've got a PS2 mouse keyboard combo port, then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 USB ports, two of which are USB eSATA combo ports, I really like to see those, those are cool. Then we've got digital audio out, Firewire, we have two gigabit ethernets and then we have 7.1 audio and uh, oh yeah we've got power circuitry on the back but not quite as much as on the UD6 so thank you for checking out the P55 UD5 from Gigabyte.